Hey, welcome back, friends. If you want to join the friends, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. So, I know it's been close to a week since I actually uploaded a video. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, just hasn't been in the cards. I actually took a vacation last weekend, and a lot of the work that I do is over the weekends. I tried to put as much effort as I could into the channel, but uh, unfortunately, I didn't have uh, internet cable connection that was stable enough at the hotel that I was staying at over that weekend and also I didn't have a uh, I stay at hotels over the week as well for my job and the internet there has been extremely bad I did try to upload a video for you it was supposed to be loot from a thousand attempts at precise four equilibrium two uh, that obviously didn't happen because it was supposed to be coming out on Wednesday uh, unfortunately the internet was not good enough to me actually to upload that video um, so that's why it's been a couple days since I actually uploaded that being said I do have new plans for the channel uh, I'll get to that at the end of this video though so first things first what have I been working on uh, first thing is the King Black Dragon I have been doing a little bit of bossing I only gotten to about 300 kills on the King Black Dragon maybe four or five hours of it uh, I have probably another 10 hours to go or so and I want to get all thousand kills in the King Black Dragon as quickly as possible uh, King Black Dragon seems like one of those creatures that I'm gonna have to be killing quite a few of to actually get all their drops uh, King Black Dragon has a couple of very rare drops. I think there's four of them, two ornamental kits for the Dragon Kite Shield and the glove and the boots of Dragon Rider. Dragon Rider gloves and boots. I believe those are the four big drops that are really hard to get, uh, as well as the pet, obviously. So I have a feeling I'm going to be killing quite a few King Black Dragons in, in this series to actually get all of his drops. That being said, he is extremely boring to kill. I'm so bored of killing the King Black Dragon. I've only done it for like four or five hours. At least with the giant mole, like you're actually doing something. You're running around and trying to get kills by running chamber to chamber. With King Black Dragon, you click on him once. You wait 30 seconds. You do obviously use a couple threshold abilities, but it's not too much. And then you have to stall your adrenaline for 20 seconds because even on the fastest spawn, it still takes him 20 seconds to spawn. So that's extremely boring to me. Uh, I, I'm going to have to grind it out pretty soon, though, and I will be getting the 1,000 kills. Uh, it's just taking me longer than anticipated. I was planning on doing it this weekend, but something else popped up. Uh, if you guys don't already know, the Dimension of the Dam came out on Monday, I believe, and I haven't actually played it at all until this weekend. Uh, you'll be seeing in the background, there's some background footage of Dimension of the Damned. I wanted to get qualified for that. So, if you guys don't already know, you do have to be in the top 1,000 initial score to get qualified for the final day. Uh, I put in a couple hours of effort and then did a scoring run and got, I think, about 470th. I'm probably going to be about 500th by now. Uh, check it, Check out my Iron Man account. It's called F.E. Asuna. So, that's going to be F-E-A-S-U-N-A. A uh, little bit of a nerd, I know. It's Sword Art Online. It's an anime. But I'm hoping to stay in the top 1,000. If I do not, obviously, I can't do anything with the final hour and a half. I am planning on streaming that, if possible, as well as uh, trying to get a video out for you guys to see how well I do. I doubt that I'm going to be making the entire way. I, I'm not going to be getting first. It's like less than one in a 1,000. Because the way you get first place is by rushing to lobsters in the wilderness, getting as many lobsters as you can, uh, you and about a team of 20, 30 people probably, uh, that way you can actually defend against all the bosses that spawn there, you're going to have to be killing the bosses as quickly as you can. So people are going to be rushing to lobsters, collecting as many of them as you can because it's the highest healing food. And then they're going to be dumping all those lobsters into one person. I have a feeling that you're not going to be getting enough food from this uh, this event. So I'm going to try to just play conservatively, get my point score up, and try to kind of leech off of other people as much as I can. Uh, get a decent amount of modified shrimp. And then hopefully just buy some extra. I have a feeling that... Falador is not going to be part of the initial, or final Noxious Gas. So I want to get 
as many bottle caps as I can as quickly as possible, and then when it's about to get into the noxious gas in Falador, buy up as much modified shrimp as I can. That way I actually have food for the entire hour and a half. Uh, hopefully get up to like 100, 150 food, and then I am just going to try to tank it out as long as I can, find the nearest bank to where the noxious gas is not going to, and hopefully have enough food left over to tank it out. I have a feeling that's where this is going to eventually end up. It's going to be who can tank out the most health as fast as you can, which is why I think that lobsters is going to be your best idea. But I don't have enough people in my uh, in my kingdom or whatever you want to call it to actually just have people dumping lobsters into me. Uh, that's going to be the best way of getting to the highest amount, assuming it be just becomes a tank test, that, which I'm pretty sure it usually does. Because eventually the noxious gas just fills everything and then it's just whoever is the last guy left. Uh, they may do something a little bit different. Uh, I know that that's just the way that it always works with the old school version. Um, they may do something a little bit different because of the way that the points work. It may just end at a specific time and whoever has the most points at that specific time might win. In which case I think that my plan is a decent plan because I'm going to be having enough food to actually continuously be killing things that's at least my goal but I have a strong inkling that they're gonna just start spawning tons and tons of bosses and every single time one of the bosses pops up it deals you 2,500 damage and then the person who is able to eat the most fish wins that's my guess of what's gonna happen I can't tell you that for sure but it just seems to be the way they're trying to go uh so that's my plan for next weekend. Uh, but what's my plan for the channel in general? So I've been not having enough internet to actually record or play RuneScape reliably uh, for more than about 20-30 minutes at a time before it starts getting really shoddy. So what I've been doing is I've been looking up YouTube channels and seeing what other RuneScape YouTubers are doing just so I can see how they're progressing. I know I've seen a lot of... Uh, YouTube channels that have like four or five thousand subscribers and they have like half or a third of the videos that I do. The difference though is that they found video topics that are entertaining to people and that are more likely to get a lot of clicks. A lot of them have like a hundred thousand clicks or hundred thousand views on one video and that's how they've gotten up to four or five thousand views. I do have a couple videos that have gotten up to about ten thousand apiece. Um, I know that my uh, Terror Bird Guide, that was a really good one, uh, a lot of people like that, as well as my uh, top 5 skilling money making methods. I think that's getting pretty close to 10,000 as well, and that one's still chugging away, getting like 100, 200 views a day on general. So I think I want to make a couple more videos like that, and I'm going to be less, less leaning towards actually making sure I get a video out every two days, because a lot of those videos, they get their 200 views, and then they just don't get any views anymore. So what I think I'm going to be doing is trying to make more evergreen content, basically stuff that people will be watching for another year or two down the line. I think that's going to be my best way of actually getting people to enjoy my channel. And I do plan on doing this a little bit more intensive after a year or two. I just want to kind of get a base level right now. Uh, just with the plans of my life, uh, there may be a time where I can do this full-time in the next year or two uh, but we will see how that goes and see how the channel is progressing at that point in time uh, when I need to decide things for my life and see if the YouTube channel is a potential for that uh, so right now I want to be just making content that people will view for a long time so that that may be a possibility in the future uh, if you guys all do like that plan, I would love it if you subscribe to this channel. That way you can see everything else that I'm going to be doing in the next couple of years here. Uh, I would also love it if you leave a like. That way other people will see this video and know what my plans are. As well as a comment saying, hey, you like this plan. You think this plan is a horrible plan to basically not be making videos every two days and be more focusing on higher quality videos. Uh, it's really up to you guys. You guys are the ones that are deciding what I do because you guys are the ones that are watching the videos and it just seems like the videos that I put a little bit more time into tend to get more views. Uh, as always though, have a good one.